Right, it's time for some questions now. Do you own the latest set of headphones? Does it promise to drown out the noise? Does it boast of high-end features? How often do you put on your earphones, play your favorite track and listen to it without a care in the world? Well, it's high time you start caring. Why am I saying this? Because more than 1 billion teenagers and young adults may be at the risk of a hearing loss. All because of their use of headphones, earphones, earbuds. Basically, because they're listening to loud, immersive music or sounds. This is what a new global study has found. Let that sink in. One billion young adults are at the risk of hearing loss because they're listening to music at unsafe levels. That's what the study says. And the villain of this story is known as a personal listening device or PLD. What is it? Well, it's probably lying at an arm's reach for you right now. It could be your smartphone, your headphones, your earbuds, any device which you use regularly to answer calls, to consume content or to listen to music. They're everywhere and are being used by kids as young as five. Just look around you. A colleague could be making a PPT with massive headphones on. Travelling in public transport, I bet the stranger next to you has earbuds on. And if you're on a flight, you're probably guilty of switching on your gadgets even before takeoff. Why listen to air safety instructions when you can listen to your favourite music? A parent in the seat next to you may have given their kid a set of headphones to avoid tantrums. My point is this, personal listening devices are everywhere and they could be doing irreversible damage to your hearing. As technology takes over our lives, it's getting easier to drown out the noise. We have noise cancelling devices too. The argument in their favour is that they block out external sound, so you don't have to keep increasing the volume of your headphones. So you could say that noise cancelling devices may protect your hearing. But there's a price to pay. They're more expensive. And they won't protect your ears from sudden loud explosive sounds. Coming back to this study, researchers estimate that 24% of 12 to 34 year olds are listening to their personal devices at unsaved levels. There's more. Have you seen your favorite artist perform live? Or visited a loud venue with booming sound, say a bar? a club or even a cinema hall, well don't make it into a habit because regular exposure to loud sounds or unsafe listening can cause permanent damage to your hearing. The study adds that damage from unsafe listening can increase over time and may make us more prone to age-related hearing loss too. While it's difficult to quantify what unsafe levels of listening are, let's tell you what's safe or what's considered safe. The US CDC limits safe noise levels at around 85 decibels over 40 hours a week. But let me tell you a fact, if you're listening to your favorite track on your smartphone right now, chances are the volume is much higher and it's above recommended levels. So what should you do? Should you throw away all your gadgets and hope that you wake up to the sound of birds chirping daily? Well, that's highly unlikely. We would say watch out for a few signs. Ringing ears? Turn it down. Can't hear your mom call out to you? Turn the volume down. Your device warning you about listening levels? Turn the volume down. Learn to switch off. Else you may risk losing your hearing in the long run. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.